The British Broadcasting Corporation, or the BBC, is known throughout the world for its cutting-edge journalism and integrity. But following the confirmation that it wrongly implicated a former senior politician to a story about paedophilia, its Director General George Entwistle has resigned and the organisation finds itself in crisis. The damning report was broadcast on the corporation's flagship news programme, Newsnight, on November 2nd. Aside from George Entwistle, Helen Bowden, the director of BBC News, and her deputy have stepped aside. Charlie Beckett, former BBC programme editor and founding director of Polis, a think tank at the London School of Economics, explains more about the scandal. Over the past weekend, we've had this dramatic crisis where the boss of the BBC, George Entwistle, the director general, has had to resign partly because of a disastrous mistake at one of his programmes, uh, but also because he himself has come under pressure and, frankly, has not performed particularly well under the glare of uh, the spotlight. The whole Newsnight report was a journalistic disaster. There were really basic mistakes made. Uh, and that wouldn't normally matter, but the accusation was so, so serious and so damaging to somebody that it was absolutely an editorial car crash. Uh, and we can see that the BBC was in some confusion and some crisis because of the Savlin uh, scandal. So something like this can happen. But when there's a crisis, you actually have to um, have even a tighter grip. You have to get even more control. So at the very moment when uh, the BBC was being criticised uh, for its standards and for its sense of self-scrutiny, that was when they made this ghastly mistake. At the heart of the crisis is the fact that the BBC is funded by the licence fee paid by UK households. Indeed, there is the concern that the trust and confidence they have in the BBC might be affected. JM1 spoke to BBC News correspondent Nick Hyam, who has been reporting on the scandal and is well respected amongst his colleagues. One of the most important things the BBC has is its reputation for trustworthy, credible, reliable, impartial news and journalism. And the reason this crisis is so serious is that the BBC has, as it were, unforced as a result of errors that it made itself, raised questions about that in the public's eye. And that's a very bad place for the BBC to get itself into. And so in the wake of the crisis, a people in the UK willing to continue paying the licence fee. I'm completely happy to keep carrying on paying my licence fee. I think the theory of it is fine, but you've got to trust them that they're running it well. And the problem is if they can't run proper news stories like that, uh, then, then they can't really justify their licence fee. No, I don't trust the BBC at all, not anymore. It doesn't make, it doesn't make me feel very forthcoming to want to pay my TV licence. It seems that the BBC have had a lot of management structures in place that are maybe so complicated that people are not quite aware of what's most important and therefore they haven't been aware of some of these really difficult issues. And the licence fee, I think that's also rather old-fashioned, isn't it? So I think there's a lot of things that need to be reassessed and quite quickly. From, a, from my personal perspective, it would take a lot more to bring down the BBC as a credible news source for me. So I'm not British-born and I'm from Germany and the BBC is this really grand old source of uh, news worldwide. Looking ahead, the BBC is keen to restore the trust of the public. Indeed, it has begun to engage in meetings with its journalists. Nick Hyam attended one today. Uh, that was the new acting head of news talking to some of her staff and actually taking the temperature, really, uh, an opportunity for BBC journalists to say what they think about the present situation. And, and obviously, a lot of people are distressed by it, and, and it's embarrassing, and uh, it's uncomfortable working for an organisation which is at the eye of the storm like this. The priority is to re-establish trust in our news, and, I, and one of the ways the BBC is trying to do that is by reporting as openly and as fully and as frankly as it possibly can on this crisis and um, as a BBC journalist I'm conscious that my job is to show that um, you know, even when it comes to reporting our own organisation we uh, stick to the best possible standards and we're not cowed by special interests or anything of that sort. Aside from restoring trust, the BBC has to contend with the view of many, including Downing Street, that it's hard to justify Entwistle's payoff of £450,000 a year's salary when he has only been in the job for 54 days.
This is to be funded by UK residents who are obliged by law to pay the licence fee. As the crisis continues, many people in the UK believe the BBC must turn its attention to its management structure. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.